I'm figuring out how to wheelie this thing. It seems like between six and eight thousand is where it likes to pop up the most. We are. It, this is a fucking stock bike. So around four to six, it does that little baby pop. So I got to give it the beans a little bit more. I think I'm just scared. <laughs> I'm being a little bitch. There's mega chasers, so. Like that. So I don't want to do that. Uh, my tire is also way too high. It's like 40, so it's just slipping. There we go. So, starting to figure it out. It is obviously very different than the FZ, but we're getting there. I want to try to at least, I mean, I don't want to speed up too, too much because this bike can speed up a lot more than the FZ can, but I do kind of want to try to do a decent amount of the lot. But yeah, she's just, she wants to slip a lot. don't have a whole lot of trust in my rear brake so I'm really not trying to push it too far back either I kind of just want to hit somewhere close to balance point somewhere somewhat close but yeah she's just she's slipping on me there we go little something There's a lot less engine brake with this than the FZ, so it's a lot easier to just kind of focus on foot brake because the throttle is almost less touchy, in my humble opinion. I brought the girlfriend and She's not in the mood to be at the lot right now. So, oh well. Probably gonna head out decently soon. But we are getting semi-comfortable with this thing. I think first thing I'm gonna do to it is brakes for sure. Um, brakes need to be at the very least flushed because I do not have that trust in that rear brake. But it is kind of nice, something new, something different. So I think it'd be good at that. Yeah, she need a sprocket. He's getting better. Ooh. It's like a little bit harder to lean back because the, the handlebars are so leaned over. Get that 
that weight going. I think once we once we sl swap the uh, triple. There we go. Okay, found it. Found it. Actually feels fairly stable once you you pop it more than the FZ it just stock. The FZ took me a long time to get even semi smooth. This thing feels fairly smooth off the rip once it's there. Too much, too much. Okay. On that note, I'm gonna take a break. AJ's R7 that he has been building out. I love it. could take me five minutes to get comfortable on his brake his front brake and his rear brake honestly are great and this is like whatever bars he has set up on this is almost more comfy than the uh, the FZ it's more upright AJ, nice job, my boy. Nice, very nice job. D dude, this thing feels like a dirt bike, but looks like a sport bike. And those bars, I don't, I don't know if these are CR highs or what, but like. beans chase that one he's been building this thing for the past like couple of months just kind of piecing it together bit by bit and he's certainly getting you know getting there So I'm, I'm already used to GP shift. I keep like going to throw it into, into second and there's no second. Let's see if I can get a really nice smooth one. thing he could really put on to maybe make this better is an idle adjuster and a uh, and a clutch lever those would be the only two things
His throttle is, uh, it's choppy, but it's not awful. Like, it's not super ridiculous. Once he gets a stunt tank, I mean, it's not taking a handbrake. No handbrake on this thing. But. Holy Lord. It's just like, try it in second gear. It's super smooth. Nah, dude. First is smooth enough. Well done. It's not done. It I, I know, but what you've done already, it feels great. That's all you guys. That's so based on the recommendations of all the homies. Those bars feel significantly more comfortable than my FZ did. Like sweet. It's just like it like I was like, oh this is like perfectly squared up. You're giving me too. Honestly, dude, first is 